creating a server part one. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a local web server on a Windows 10 computer and get the My Arduino Home controller website set up so that it can communicate with the My Arduino Home automation board and Amazon Alexa and you can use it to control your lights and all that good stuff. So I'm going to kind of zoom through this a little bit. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Also check out MyArduinoHome.com. There's a forum on there that you can view all that good stuff on. So you want to download the 7.027 version for now. Uh, I have yet to update it to work with the later versions, but for now we'll go with this. So once it's downloaded, you open it and install it. And it takes a few minutes to install. Um, in this case, I'm going to keep it as simple as possible. I'm not going to put everything on there. I'm going to take the FTP server off, Mercury, Tomcat, Lee Pearl. Uh, we need PHP My Admin. Uh, and then hit next. And then select the folder that you want it to install to. Next. And then uh, I'm going to uncheck this because I don't need any of these. If you decide you want Drupal or Joomla or any of those, uh, you're welcome to do that but I don't have any use for them so I'm not going to install them and just let it do its install okay so this is finishing up and we're ready to move on to the next step in just a moment it's going to ask us if we want to go ahead and launch it and we're going to hit yes when it finally gets there <laughs> um, we're going to have to go in a few parts of the config and download the Marduino home website controller which is based off of user apple pie it's another it's a php framework that i've designed in the past and it works really well for user login systems um, so we'll get that downloaded and all this stuff configured i'll show you how to do that so anyway we want to go ahead and start the control panel now so we'll leave that checked hit finish and that will open it up uh, we can go ahead and close this window and minimize here. It's going to ask us if we want English or any other language, and we will select English in my case. Okay, so it looks like we're all good to go. Let's go ahead and start. So we got Apache and MySQL, got them both up and running. So now if we go open up our web browser and we go to local closed, it's going to show us a sample page uh, that is came with the XAMPP installation. Um, let's go ahead and open up our PHP My Admin. Now by default this does not have a password and that's fine. Uh, you can go in and set a password for your root user uh, if you like. I suggest it but I'm not going to show you how to do that right now. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go back to the local host and have that ready so that we know what we're doing, whether it's working or not. Let's go ahead and open up our XAMPP folder. So we go to uh, our C drive, XAMPP, or wherever you have it installed. Now by default, it's going to pull the website files from this htdocs folder. However, I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one. Call it www. Call it good. Open that up. So let's go ahead and download the website code from this GitHub. Uh, let's see, download, zip, save, and then that should not take long at all to download. It's not that big of a file. That should not take long to download, and it did not. So we'll go ahead and open that up. We'll open this folder, and then we should see the app assets and so on. So let's go ahead and copy all of that. And then if we go back over to our WW folder, paste it there. Now just so you know, everything's going to be loaded from this public folder within the WW folder. And there it is. So we've got the index file and the HD access file and a animation.gif. Uh, we should not have to edit anything in here. Maybe the HD access file, but um, I'm not too worried about that. So anyway, so we got that set up. So and we haven't changed anything on the server yet so let's go ahead and update our control panel here so if we go to config and then httpd.conf go down here until we find the htdocs directory which is right here and we're going to go ahead and change that to ww and then 
public. Do the same thing for this one here. WW forward slash public. Okay, we'll save it there. Close that. Now we also need to edit the SSL httpd-ssl.conf and then we want to find that directory in here too uh, right here so that way it'll pull on both HTTP and HTTPS uh, WW oops public alright we'll save that and if you have an actual web address like www.modernduinohome.com um, or whatever yours might be, you put that there and same with your email. And also it wouldn't hurt to update that in the uh, http.com file too. I'm not going to worry about that since it's just running on localhost. Um, so we want to go ahead and stop the Apache server, start it again. Looks good. Should be able to go to this. Now if we refresh it's not going to do anything that we want it to because we need to move remove the dashboard. So we just want to go HTTPS forward slash forward slash localhost. Voila! So it says user Apple Pie version 4 installation. So so far so good. Uh, we'll go ahead and make sure everything is green uh, and it shows us where we where our app location is. Okay so move on to step 2. So in here you'll actually put the address HTTPS localhost and then for the database the mysql database just put localhost database name i'm going to make this one home controller i'm going to also do the same for the username and then we don't have a password yet we'll leave the prefix the same for now if we go back to our um, php my admin we need to create a new database so we're going to call this home controller. We'll create it. <clears throat> okay, so now we got to set up a user for this. Go to privileges, add user account. Make sure that your home controller is selected. Uh, I believe I got that right. Hold on. So home controller, privileges, add user account. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to go home controller. Oops, one more L. Okay, so now that that's updated, uh, just whatever you put as your username here, make sure it matches here. Otherwise, you'll get some issues. I'm going to change this to local since we're only going to be accessing the MySQL server from the local network. Uh, and I like to just go ahead and generate a password. Why not, right? And then we copy that, and everything else. We shouldn't have to change anything if this is grant all privileges to home controller. Hit go, and we're good on that. So now we can go back to our installation page, paste the password, leave the prefix alone, update the config file. Now it's actually going in and updating the uh, PHP file. If you go in here, let's see, an app you got example.config so it actually updated this file right here and if you scroll down you can see home controller home controller and the new password so let's go ahead and close that and you'll notice once you finalize the installation it'll create a config.php file so if you ever upgrade or change your server settings or anything like that it'll be in the config.php file or if you want to just show this installation screen again delete the config.php file and it'll automatically go to the install uh, screen um, and it'll pull put and pull information from the example.config.php so anyway let's go ahead and test the database settings and looks like we're good to go so let's move on to the next step import data to database and this takes just a moment and should not have any errors if you do the um, database file is in the WW folder here database you can go ahead and just import that to MySQL uh, through PHP my admin and everything looks good so let's go ahead and move on to step 4 
and it I believe this next step right here so if we go back here we see that it created a config.php file uh, from the example config file so any time anything you do from here out is since that config.php file is there it's automatically going to uh, not use the installation so you can't use the installation if there if this file exists all right so let's go ahead and enjoy it uh, first thing we want to do is be the first user to sign up for the website because the first user will be the uh, administrator so password password they are at the daybar.net invitation code we'll leave that blank there's not one set up I'm not a robot register all right so we now can log in as said user uh oh <laughs> and we're logged in so for this to get everything working uh, it's automatically going to ask us to create a new house profile to use this website so here we'll select how many boards uh, I'm only going to use one but if you got two or three in the stack that's where you would select it how many temp sensors how many garage doors create the new profile and right here is your house token and your house ID and these will, these are necessary for being able to um, communicate between the Arduino and the website uh, but you can go in and generate a new house token or update or you know anything like that if you like in the future um, of course this is not going to be public so you <laughs> good luck trying to hack into this because it's probably not even going to be online this is just for testing anyway so if we go to our admin panel we want to make sure that our system routes are good so nothing had to update so we're good there uh, let's go back to the main site oh and you can administer your users and oh there's an error there I'll fix that later but you can administer your users groups and a bunch of other stuff uh, so if we go back to the main site it's going to show all of our relays and all that good stuff and you can go to account settings and and update the Alexa name and the website title and all that good stuff so like we can change this one to outside temp update and and then we can go to garage doors we can do the same thing Alexa name and so on and so forth and same with all the lights and then your Arduino code that you would want to download to put on your Arduino is here you can just hit download Arduino file and then for this example we'll just open it and it looks like I've got a little editing to do there because <laughs> that's not right but anyway I'll, I'll I'll work on it hopefully by the next update but that's how you get the website up and running so in the next tutorial I'm going to explain how to get everything working with the Arduino and uh, and then the next one probably Alexa and so on and so forth so this is a first part of a series I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching